All right. Make sure I'm streaming as always. Yep, looks good. All right, well, welcome back to the series where we Iron Man every single Fire Emblem game. Today we are continuing our journey through Fire Emblem 7, and we are actually starting another journey, as it says right there. Uh, now, hopefully this is Hector Hard Mode. <laughs> it is gray, which usually means that is Hector Hard Mode, but it was being weird um, last time. A month has passed since word came of Marques Ferre's disappearance. Rumors and speculation run rampant through Lycia. The head of House Ostia, Lord Uther, takes no apparent interest. Oh, well, the Marques' younger brother is um, considered odd by the populace. He and Marques Ferre's son, Eliwood, are fast friends. A hot-blooded youth, he cannot ignore his friend's plight. Marques Ostia's younger brother, Hector, uh, he would one day be a courageous general, a steel warrior to be feared. The path he chooses will test him to the limits of his strength. And obviously we know how he dies, unfortunately. To remark Fire Emblem featuring Hector Hardmode? Exactly. What's up, Zero? Welcome, welcome. Okay, so we're in Ostia, which means this should have worked and we are playing Hector Hardmode. Despite it saying that we're going to be doing uh, Ellie Woods mode last time. Brother! Brother, where is he? He's here, isn't he? Lord Hector, calm yourself. No words, uh, Oswin, just move. That's enough, Hector. What is the meaning of this? You know full well the disappearance of uh, Marques Ferre. We've discussed this time and time again. This matter is none of Ostia's affair. We have no reason to involve ourselves. It would be folly to do so. Eliwood's father is missing, for goodness sake. We know that Marques Laus is connected in some way. I say we use Ostia's might to end this mystery and find the truth. Calm yourself, you fool. An, emo an invasion would be madness. Lycia can ill afford the chaos such an action would bring. Truly, even you must understand that. Bah, I understand all too well, brother. Stay there on your throne. Sit there until it rots beneath you. I will do this alone. Lord Hector, you should watch your tone. Peace, Osmond. Go with him. There's no reasoning with him when he gets like this. Osmond's a homie. Matthew, Matthew. Bless it. Where could he be? I'm right here. You... You're not a wraith. Stop skulking in the shadows like one. Mm, a wraith? And here I thought I was a spy. Be that as it may. As my lord ordered, uh, here are your travel rations and your beloved axe. And I've purchased the silence of some royal guardsmen. You're free to slip out the rear entrance and vanish. Well done, Matthew. Try not to let my brother discover my absence too quickly. What? I thought I was going with you. You're a bigger fool than I had imagined. Do you think I would trust my brother's spy? Wait, did, didn't you trust him to do all the other stuff? Who knows when you would turn me in for some favor. Where I go, I go alone. Shh, keep on shouting and you'll go nowhere. Every guard in this place must have heard that. Enough, do not try to follow me. I did not imagine you would find me so untrustworthy. Professional hazard, it seems. Watch yourself, young master. Hmm? He, he gave up so easily. I don't trust him. Yeah, we know that. The time has come. I've got to get out of here and rendezvous with Eliwood. These bags. What did Matthew put in these bags? This is ridiculous, even if he was packing for two. Hmm? Come out. I know you're here. Who are you? Too dumb to say, too dumb to speak? Makes no difference to me. Move out of my way or I'll run you through. God damn, Hector. Ha! Whoa! My lord, say your arm. It's me. Who, Matthew? I was sure you were one of them. Well, I'm not. I'm one of me. And I would prefer to remain in one piece. Your fault for jumping out of nowhere. Now tell me, what are you doing here? I, I sensed that something was wrong and I came to your aid. My aid? I'll accept that answer for the time being. So what should we do? About what? <laughs> About the fellows between us and the way out. I'd say there are seven or eight of them. To make matters worse, they seem highly competent. I know you're quite confident in your... Uh, martial abilities, but I'm not the strongest sword arm, and, well, if you're saying, uh, if you have something to say, Matthew, then say it. We can abandon the rear entrance. I'm sure the Royal Guardsmen would be happy to aid us, and never. That's what I thought you would say. All that's left is to avoid getting killed, right? You can back up if you want. In your words, uh, in your own words, my lord, never. I'm with you, or wherever that may lead. Right, then let's give them a good thrashing and get out of here. Wow, Matthew's a homie, too. Okay, so Lin Mode, even on hard difficulty, obviously was pretty easy. Hector Hard Mode, on the other hand, 
So there are two different modes in this game. There's Eliwood mode, and there's a easy and a, uh, sorry, a normal and a hard mode. And then there's Hector, which is a has a normal and a hard mode as well. Um, Hector hard mode is definitely the most difficult mode in the game, and is genuinely pretty difficult, especially the early stages. As you can see, this guy has 26 health, this guy has 22, and yeah, they're pretty strong. And you only start with Hector and Matthew for this first part of the chapter. I'm trying to remember exactly how I like to do this, because you definitely need a, a like genuine strategy for this. I think he can't open this, no. Okay, I think opening this turn one is the way to go. So you can go down this way. Uh, I like to go over here and then go through here because I think it's the easiest way to get this guy's vulnerary, which is really important. Vulnerabilities in this first chapter are really crucial. You don't start with any. So again, I like to go this way, but it's really up to you. Hector carries, yeah. Well, he, he certainly has to on this first chapter because Matthew will not, but yeah, Hector's a beast for sure. Okay, so we should be able to kill this guy. I should also probably turn the animation. Also, getting a couple of early misses is really useful because, again, you don't have a healer, so you're really reliant on um, vulneries. I think I like this. I could open the door and then he attacks me. No, this is going to be the same in the end and maybe we get a crit. I believe in Matthew, really, do you now? I also believe in Matthew. Hello, uh, what's up, Melkin? Welcome, welcome. Okay, this is kind of good. The fact that the guy has a crit is terrifying, but he didn't crit, so whatever. Okay, so... I could kill that guy with Matthew, and then if Hector goes here... How much movement does he have? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that works. Yeah, yeah, that works. So... Well, Hector... No, because Hector needs to be here, I think. So you kill here. Hopefully he doesn't miss. It is a 93%. Matthew Assassin this run? Ooh. Matthew Assassin does sound kind of hype. I'm not sure. I don't love, like, setting up for Assassins just because the chapter where you get the, uh... The promotion item is such a, like, wonky one to get to, but it would be cool. What's our Matthew looking like? He's gotten a couple of good level ups, I will say that. Okay, so Hector's here. One, two, three, four, five. That should be good, so let's go here. Is it actually to prim primarily have a bad history with them? Um, yeah, I think the you can definitely see it in the early stages of this game because the enemies have pretty decent stats, but at least it's not Fire Emblem 6. As long as it's not Fire Emblem 6, I'm okay with Axe users. Um, okay, so I want... Yeah, we want to protect this chest because there's a gem that's pretty important in it. And then you also want to make sure you kill that knight as quickly as possible. Again, because uh, we want to get that vulnerary really bad. Any mean units you want to train this run? Like in Fire Emblem 6? Um, it's a good question. The thing is, again, because we are... I wonder if he'll steal my vulnerary. I hope he doesn't. I don't think he will. I think he's going to go try to open that door. Yeah, okay. Um... I'm, yeah, I'm trying to think. I wonder if... Can Hector handle this? Let me... Let, give me one second. I just want to make sure that Hector's okay here. 8 defense. So that's 10 damage. And you guys have 15 minus 9 is 6 damage. Yeah, it's a little sketchy, that's for sure. If I go here, though, only one archer can attack me. What if one archer and two soldiers, that's that's 12 plus 5, that's 17. Okay, I think he's okay. Unless he crits here, I guess, he should be okay. Oh, Matthew is one of my... Shoot, Matthew is one of my vulnerabilities. I should have given both vulnerabilities to Hector. That was a mistake. Yeah. Should, should be okay. Um, yeah, anyways, uh, Vin, I was, so, because we're trying to do the whole Kashuna thing in this playthrough, I'm not sure that I'm gonna meme up, m meme too much, um, but we could definitely meme with some characters, I haven't really thought about it too much. You can actually give Matthew some decent level ups here, because, the thing is, if, um, Oh, actually, no, because they don't have the same amount of speed, so he can't steal from me. Normally, when you play Hector Hard Mode, because Matthew starts level 1, or whatever level he starts on, they have the same amount of speed, so you can actually have them just steal back and forth and get a free level for Matthew. <laughs> it doesn't work for us, but 
it could work for you. Okay, I'm gonna back up a little bit and because I need to get that vulnerability from Matthew. Although to be fair, um my strategy for killing Kashuna that we were talking about last time does involve using Guy. And Guy's kind of a meme character, so I guess in that regard. Um I'm trying to think about anybody else that I would want to use. Sick level up, we love that. Excuse me. Um, I don't know. If anybody has any suggestions on um, Mimi characters they'd like to see, I'm, I'm all ears. That was an unfortunate miss, but I think it'll be okay. Ooh, okay. Well, I guess I'm actually glad that Matthew has... I wasn't sure if he'd attack me or not. I guess I'm actually glad that Matthew has the uh, vulnerability. Steal from the thief, trade it to Hector, enemy thief steals from Hector, repeat. Ooh. Yeah, I guess if Hector always because Hector will always have less speed. That's the that's the like big brain play. I've I've never considered that before. So Hector should be good, right? Because these guys deal like five damage. Yeah, so this should be okay. Hector actually carries, he does. Although that's only because of weapon triangle. On the on the archers, he still looks pretty ass, but yeah, against against any one of the Lance. He looks quite good. Okay, so Matthew doesn't die. Let's do this. I'm not going to be quite going that far with um, with allowing them to steal from Hector, but that is kind of funny. And again, something I've never considered. But this, this like, first part of the first Hector chapter is where things can go, like, pretty sketchy. So the fact that we're getting through this... Well, hopefully we're getting through this. Um, should be good. This is... This is Oddly enough, this is like one of the hardest chapters in the entire game. <laughs> I know that sounds really weird, but it's kind of true. Like if you get if you get one like a miss from Hector or Matthew early on, you could just um lose this lose your run immediately, which is a bit sketchy. Okay, let's vulnerary. Mage killer Hector. It, did he get I know he got one. Yeah, he's up to one. <laughs> So if Matthew misses, he could die, so I'll let that guy attack me. The rest of this chapter is pretty straightforward, though, on the plus side. On the plus side, too, I think Matthew already has enough speed to steal the one thing I need him to steal, which is pretty cool. Oh my god, maybe we should assassin Matthew, holy crap. Okay, we're getting really lucky with hits. Sometimes Hector just refuses to hit these archers with the hand axe, which can be very frustrating to deal with, but again, we've gotten really lucky with the hits. If this hits two, that'd be sweet. Okay, yeah. We got pretty lucky on this first chapter. I will uh, take that. Skill res, very good omen level up. Yeah, especially for him. Especially for Hector. That is right where you want to be. Here, Hector, take the vulnerary, and then I will pick this chest. Also, lockpicks are actually kind of hard to come by in this game, so getting a lockpick on this first chapter by stealing it with Matthew is, like, pretty useful. I think I have to heal to kill Wire, right? 18. Yeah, he exactly kills me. I did pretty much use every single uh, vulnerary that we got in this chapter, but that's okay. We get a um, healer on the next chapter, so it's not that big a deal. The red gem um, sells for, I think it's either 2,500, yep, 2,500 gold, which is actually really important at the beginning of this game um, because they don't give you a lot of money for a while. Money's actually pretty tight throughout this game, to be honest. You're not Marcus uh, Laus's assassins, are you? You're too good, too professional. Nothing like those idiots over there. You've no need, you've no need to know, little Lord Hector. A fool like you sneaking out of the country alone. You'll go missing, never to return. Your body will never be found. A teddy story, eh? <laughs> Looks like your luck's run out. Our luck, what are you? You see, I'm about as angry as I've ever been. I doubt that even a dozen of you could slow me down. Prepare to die. Jesus, Hector. Tell him. Yeah, and thankfully the, uh, the wolf beal is really good against armors. Actually, wait, does this guy have a vulnerary? Oh, shoot. That's right. I forgot that you can actually get a free vulnerary. Is he going to heal? Okay, no. So I actually messed this up a little bit. You can actually get a free vulnerary by stealing it with Matthew. I just completely forgot to do it, but that's okay. 
Lord Nurgle. Like I said, after last chapter when we re-recruit Sarah, we don't really need Vulnerys that much anymore. But yeah, I kind of messed that up. Okay, okay. HP, speed, defense, and res. The mage killer himself. Ooh, that was close. Glad we're both alright. Come, my lord, we must fly. The castle guard must have heard all that noise. Matthew, you rogue. You knew this was all gonna happen, didn't you? What else could I do? Those assassins wouldn't show themselves until you were alone, I suppose. Mark my words, Matthew, you're coming with me. <laughs> but from this point forward, you are no longer my brother's spy. You are my man now, to the bitter end. Yes, my lord. Shall I swear a knightly vow? To what purpose? Your own words will hold you well enough. God damn. True enough. Let us go then, to Elliewood. Kinda like Hector. My lord, Marques, it's Lord Hector. He is, he's gone, isn't he? Yeah, yes, my lord. We are gathering men now to give chase. Attend me. We will let him go. Did you say attend me? My lord. Ah, uh, headstrong fool. Ooh. <coughs> lord Uther, are you well? I'm fine. It is past. There is no need for concern. You must not rely so much on physical strength alone. Uh, it has been most tiring these past few weeks. The affairs of the court have not let you sleep. You might endanger your health if you keep on. Yes, Oswin, I understand. I will speak with the physician on the morrow. Will that... will that allay your fears? Uh, yes, my lord, I shall make the arrangements. Oswin, about Hector. I can entrust him to you, yes? Of course, my lord. I will guard him with my very life's blood. With my very life's blood. Oswin's pretty amazing, actually. I'm a, I'm a big, uh, armor knight hater, but I'm a big fan of Oswin. Silver card boss, he rolls 13 to 14 speed. Is well attracted to sealing it? Yep. Yeah, I think we're looking pretty good. A lot of times, like, even if worse comes to worse, you can always get him experience on that chapter. But, uh, yeah, we're looking pretty good as far as that's concerned. Yep, 2.5k 2, 2 gold. Uh, Hector leaves Ostia. He moves toward Centaurus. Centaurus? Uh, to meet up with Elliewood as quickly as possible. He encounters a mysterious group whose dark garb hide an even darker secret. Perhaps these... Uh, same powers have turned their blades on Elliewood. Hector hurries south, praying for his friend's safety. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Lord Hector, I have it. I know where Lord Elliewood is. He entered Sitara's... Sint God, man, I feel like I'm mispronouncing that every time. Not far from here. Is that so? We've read his movements fairly well, then. Let's move uh, due south and cross the border. We'll meet up with him in Sitara's. Ah, there you are, Lord Hector. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Sarah, what what are you doing here? You're going to meet Lord Elliewood, right? Well, I want to go too. Go home, this is no game. But Oswin told me it was alright to come. Oswin? Yes, my lord, on the Marquess's orders. Sarah and I will be accompanying you. Ah, this is ridiculous. Always have to be the- always have to have the last word, eh, brother? No matter what you think, he's just worried about you, Lord Hector. You're the only family he has, I know. Lord Hector, up ahead, there appears to be fighting. Where, is it Elliewood? Come, let's get closer. Hurry, Oswin, Matthew. Yes, my lord. Oh, and Sarah. <laughs> Wait for me, I'm coming too. And Sarah. Hey, what's going on over there? It looks like some rough business. You, soldier, are you just gonna stand there and watch? What do you th who do you think you are? This is Centares. What occurs here is no affair of any foreign lordling. I believe I'm going to have to disagree with you. You see, the man you're, they're attacking happens to be a friend of mine. A friend? What? Oh, <laughs> I just killed him. <laughs> Sorry, but I'm in a hurry. You couldn't have talked to him a little bit more? <laughs> Ew, that's terrible. I loathe violence. Nicely done, my lord. You're a fighter born. <laughs> I cannot condone resorting to force so quickly. Chastise me later, Oswin. First, we deal with these brigands. Come, we must help Elliewood. Help Elliewood. Sounds like a convenient excuse for more violence. <laughs> Oswin. Yes, yes, I'm coming. Matthew, bring Sarah and follow along. What with Sarah? No, I want to go with you now. Absolutely not. You'll slow us down. How rude. Oswin, let's go. Okay, so we get Elliewood's crew, which is fantastic. This chapter is actually like kind of difficult just because trying to keep um sarah and matthew alive can be a little bit annoying with the uh, the wyvern thankfully or sorry not wyvern this is a pegasus knight um thankfully we get oswin who is an absolute beast um and our hector has gotten a couple defense level ups which is very important um as long as you can deal with the first couple of rounds of these um pegasus knights it's usually okay i wonder if i double no he pretty rarely doubles to be honest 
I wonder if maybe I should kill this guy instead. Mm, I could. I think I'll go here and do this. <laughs> Don't care, I win the, the triangle advantage. <laughs> True. I have an axe, I saw a lance user, I took advantage. Simple as that. Rebecca Gaming? That is true, we also got Rebecca. We could try to use Rebecca. Again, because of the whole Kashuna thing, I'm I'm kind of trying to be like laser focused on making sure we have the strongest team possible for Kashuna. And I'm not really sure how Rebecca <laughs> factors into that, but um, I do like Rebecca quite a bit. Um, okay, and then we're gonna head down here. This guy, I believe, Matthew has really bad luck. Oh, he actually doesn't get crit. Sometimes Matthew has such bad luck at this point that he actually has crit, or the Pegasus Knight does, but thankfully he does not. Um, now down here, we get Loen, who's pretty fantastic. I don't know exactly what I'll do with Loen, because we kind of were training both Kent and Sane. Um, but, and then there's a secret book in here we can get. Hmm, you look like you have some experience with battle, no need to conceal it. I found in many, uh, many of my, many a battle in my time, I assure you. Let me tell you one thing about combat, though. The most important thing is technique. If you've no skill, you'll rarely strike your enemy. My instructor gave me this secret book long ago. It will improve the fighting prowess of the one who reads it. I'm too old to make use of it, so why don't you take it? I don't know if I'd agree that skill is the most important, but it is pretty important. You do have to be able to hit your opponent. So the secret book, I usually don't... I usually don't use on anybody, but if we're trying to get that crit out of Guy, maybe I will use it on him. I'm not sure. Young armor unit. Oswin is an exception though. Oswin's a beast. Are the Archer Girl characters? Yeah, I am too. I'm honestly, I'm a big sucker for any character who has really consistent speed uh, growth. And usually it's like the early game um, Archer that has like really good speed. So I, I am definitely a sucker as well. Sniper's just a cool uh, class too. I like Sniper. But yeah, I'll probably wind up selling that secret book. Like I said, early money is something that's a little bit difficult to come by, so having access to it with the secret book is pretty darn useful. Hector is like a dodging machine, my goodness. It's a shame he doesn't have enough uh, speed to double these guys, but still, it's looking great. And then of course there's Marcus who went and got the village. Marcus is a beast, we're gonna be using him a lot, but uh... Yeah, he's amazing. Okay, that's a good, I mean, I wouldn't mind some speed, but yeah, I, if he can keep getting HP, strength, defense, that's that's a good level up for him for sure. Hector, the thing about early Fire Emblem 7 is it's a little bit different than some of the other games. Like, Fire Emblem 6 is a lot more about offense, Fire, Fire Emblem 8 is just Fire Emblem 8, I mean, whatever, but uh, this game has a lot of need for early game defense because there's a lot of defend chapters and a lot of chapters where you get swarmed by a lot of enemies not just in the early game but actually for a while in the game that's part of the reason that oswin is such a powerful unit and it's part of the reason that hector is as well because of um because what kind of class he is or at least what kind of a lord he is he is i should say but it means that high defense and like low movement is, is a lot more valuable in this game than it is in some of the other ones You, you also have four crits. I probably don't look good fighting you though, right? 11, minus five is six. It's actually not bad. Okay, if you want to come attack me, that's okay. Depends on the unit's weapon. That's true. That is true. All stats are very important. That is for sure. You definitely have to be able to hit your opponent. I think skill is also a stat that really uh, changes depending on the game you're playing. Like in, in games where sometimes skill triggers like skill activations, and sometimes those are really, really powerful. So then skill can go up quite a bit, I think. Uh, but then there's games like this where there are no skills. Skill is still a good stat, of course, but it's a little bit weaker than it would be in, I think, some other games. Which of you has a hand axe? You have a hand axe. Can you hit this guy? Okay, well. I guess the answer was no. <laughs> so, do you have a vulnerability? Does anybody have a vulnerary? Does someone have a vulnerary? Jesus Christ. Do you have a vulnerary? Okay. As long as somebody has a vulnerary. Okay, let me give you the vulnerary. 
Let me heal Dorcas. What's up, Lord Genesis? Oh, the stream's really laggy. Is it laggy for anybody else? At least according to Twitch, it, it should be good on my end, but... Hopefully it's okay for, for most people. But yeah, that's okay, Lord Genesis. Hopefully it won't be, uh... Hopefully it'll fix itself, I guess. Yeah, you really want to you really want to keep people away from, like the mountain tiles. Oh, this was really bad. Low and might just die. I don't know how much the archer can deal. I should have traded him onto the sword. I forgot to. That was a that was a part of that turn that should have happened. I forgot to do. I'm not sure if he's okay. Mission axe unit actually hitting, man. I can imagine it. I've never seen it, but I can imagine it. It's good for you guys? Okay, then we should be good. Does this deal five? Only three, okay, we're okay. Okay, that was that was poorly played again. I should have traded him onto his sword so that the brigand wouldn't have had so much hit, but it's okay. Usually these units are strong enough and that's why I usually have Marcus so far back, but it kind of kind of feels like I should have had Marcus. Farther up. Okay, Lowen, you need to back up. I'm gonna shoot this guy. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I'm trying to think if there's any world where Rebecca can actually be good against Kashuna. Probably not. Can you go there? Okay, I'm gonna have. I'm assuming Elliewood looks pretty bad. 10 damage. How much do you deal? 12 minus 5, but it'd be 6. It'd be 7. So that's 5 damage plus 9 damage. Okay, we should be good. I'm gonna have you go there. I'm gonna have Marcus go here. You can't, like, go on the mount. Oh my god, he can. Okay, well, I need to pick you up then. I did not think about that. That was very scary. So close with Lowen. Yeah, that was that was sketchy. Again, I, I kind of messed up my positioning there. Or specifically, I messed up what item he had in his uh, possession at that time. But it's okay. It is okay. Let me make sure that Matthew actually kills this guy before I do anything too stupid. He should be good. He has two shots at killing him, so... I think we should be okay. Magic, we love that. And like every other stat, jeez. Yeah, he just needs to hit one of these. Perfect. Again, because we actually train Kent Insane a decent amount, like... Well, Lowen is usually one of my favorite units. I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to u or be using him very much, so his death wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. But obviously, we you know we'd rather avoid him dying, of course. Okay, this getting this guy getting off the uh, forest tile is really nice for us, and we get a hit. That's great. We love that. Should be good with Elliewood over here. Obviously the hit's really bad, but also he couldn't die even off the damage. Seems like everyone is gravitating toward the north. Usually people go down to the south, but it's it's taking me forever down here because everyone's kind of sucking. <laughs> I think we should be okay. I'm a little bit worried. Um, yeah, wow, there's actually a lot of enemies up here. This can get a little bit sketchy with Matthew and Sarah in their current positions. I think... Okay, let's kill... Hopefully we kill this guy. That would be ideal. That's great. Okay. If we can kill the Myrmidon too, I feel... Or the Mercenary. I feel pretty good about this situation. How scary is this guy? 14. Nah, I have 10 defense. I should be okay. He can't even get to the mountain. We should be fine. Just kill this guy. Because he keeps dealing like a little bit of damage. The no damage just hits different. Oh yeah, I love it. No damage is pretty fantastic. Um, yeah, let's not have Matthew fight this guy. I usually do a little bit of shopping on this chapter, but I'm not sure we're going to be able to do that. Because we're not exactly progressing through this quickly. <laughs> uh, okay, that's pretty good. Can you just whack this guy? I do have 80 hits, so I should be good. Okay, sweet. Okay, and then I'm just going to kill this archer with Marcus, so I don't have to deal with him. 
so yeah, Marcus is our Jagged. Marcus is an absolute beast. He's amazing. Um, as I said, we are going to be using him quite a bit. He has very high stats. We actually kind of have a secondary Jagged because of what we did with Kent last time. So should be interesting to see how that factors in. But yeah, Marcus is a beast in this game. Here, you can heal yourself up a little bit. Seal so attack Eliwood, which is okay. Maybe we can get another kill for Rebecca here. Ooh, an Eliwood crit. I always really like the Eliwood crit. It looks pretty cool. Yeah, part of so part of why this chapter is can be kind of complicated, and part of actually why a bunch of um, early game Fire Emblem Seven chapters can be pretty tough is because they they just love Pegasus Knights in this game, and sh yes, Pegasus Knights are pretty weak overall, but they have huge range, which means defending your weaker units like Sarah, for example, can be very complicated. Jinx are hit or miss. I feel like they're usually hits, but it really it depends on the game for sure. And it also depends on the mode that you're playing. Like the harder the difficulty, the more necessary the Jagan is. Matthew, can you help me out here? What a homie. I guess if I miss and then get hit, that would have been a little sketchy, but it should be okay. Ellie good, exactly. Okay, that's fine. Here he is 14 speed, which should be enough animations in the older games oh yeah no they are amazing i completely agree obviously like you know the, these games are the you know, the gba and they, they have old graphics and, and all that stuff but man the crit animations remain absolutely outstanding even in, even today uh, yeah, i yeah i milk i think he's gotten strength every level up he must have right because yeah, he's already up to seven Okay, Marcus, I'm going to take your red gem, and then, yeah, I think we're going to do some shopping here before I leave. That's pretty much all I have to do. Ah, he's on the mountain. This is the really annoying thing about fighting these brigands, is that they love to go on mountains, and they just get, like, tons of avoid. He's plus two strength. Okay, we love that. We love that. Okay, I'm gonna move down a little bit. Heal up. Um, can you do shopping? Oh, you can. Okay. Why don't you just give him the stuff and he can do my shopping instead? There's no convoy yet, so you can't do like too much shopping, but I can get a sword and an axe at least. You want at least these two because Eliwood only starts with a rapier, so getting him a. Iron Sword is pretty nice, and then getting Hector an Iron um, Iron Axe, so you don't have to keep using the uh, the Wolf Beal is really nice. Okay, I'll just back up a little bit. I just, I just want that guy to get off the stupid mountain. He can attack Sarah, but that's okay. He can't kill her or anything, so. Does Matthew look like Edward from Radiant Dawn? Oh! Uh He does, yeah. I, I, w I would, if they did, he looks a little more like, Edward always looks a little more like, um, how do you describe it? Like young, whereas I think Matthew looks a little more hardened, I guess I would say. But they they definitely have the same like, like hair color and style and stuff. Do I want anything else? An Iron Lance for Marcus is not a terrible idea. I think that's probably the last thing I'll buy. Here, take this. There's more shops, but shops are not as plentiful in this game as they are in Fire Emblem 6. So using them when you have access to them is pretty important. I think I'll buy another sword, because I want a sword for Guy in the next chapter. Selling the secret book? Yeah, I usually sell the secret book in this game. Um, although, to be fair, like I was talking about before, with our plan for the um, for killing What's-His-Face, there is a chance that I wanted that secret book, but... Usually I just sell it, because early money in this game is, is pretty useful, and... Um, it sells for a lot, so... 
Post puberty? Yeah, 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 I gotcha, I gotcha. I agree. That is not enough to kill, unfortunately. Can I get you the axe? I probably can. Oh, this guy hits pretty hard. 24 attack, Jesus Christ. Cheese and rice. Um, yeah, just back up a little bit and then give me the iron axe. Here, you can talk to him as well. Elliot, are you alright? Hector, what are you later? First, let's take a, let's take care of these louts. Right. All right, fair enough. Okay, do that. The wolf beal is really powerful, and using a ton of wolf beal hits here isn't like the end of the world because you, obviously you need to kill enemies. But every hit of wolf beal that you're able to save is really important, or at least really useful, because the wolf beal is extremely powerful. And unlike most lords, you will still be using Hector. Like, you're gonna be using Hector for a while here. He is really strong. Curses, what are you waiting for? Uh, let me show you boys how it's done. There's no way he like doubles me, right? Why did he attack Oswin? That would have that would have been so depressing if Oswin had just died right there. <laughs> but no, we're good. I'm not really sure why. He... Does Hector actually have more defense than Oswin now? No. Huh. I don't know why he attacks me. Well, whatever. It's fine either way. I'm assuming Elliewood gets one shot. Yes, let's not do that. Uh, let me heal you. You still kill, right? I, I don't want to actually... Yeah, I don't want to kill with Marcus. Getting Marcus level ups is like... It's not the worst idea in the world, but... Because uh, of Weapon Triangle? Yeah, I think you're probably right. I think he probably... It's probably a combination of having like the best hit and still having really good damage. Unlike Hector, where he had like... Kind of mediocre both. I think you are correct. All right, let's see if we can give this to Rebecca. Or maybe we should give it to Elliewood. <coughs> I don't know, I'm kind of I'm kind of in on training Rebecca, to be honest. Fuck it. I believe in Rebecca. I, uh, this was not so easy as it seemed. No, it was not. All right, that seems like a pretty average Rebecca level up. Are we Rebecca Gaming? That's the plan. Again, I, I don't want to meme too much because we do want to kill Kashuna, but I, li I like Rebecca, let's face it. Ooh, is that all of them? Hector, where did you come from? Well, met Elliewood. Yes, but what are you doing here? You wound me. What do you mean? You're looking for your father, right? Why didn't you send word? Your brother was just named Marques Ostia. He's going to be very busy setting up his, co his court council. Lord Uther uh, must need your support. You're his brother, after all. Your brother... My brother is not so weak. Oh, he's mentioned some of these... Uh, some things publicly, but... Wait, what? I, I don't know what he just said. Uh, he knew exactly what I was planning, and he let me go. Is that so? Well, then. It would be unwise to refuse his kindness. It does me good to see you, Hector. Thank you. Think nothing of it. You know Oswin, don't you? Well, met Lord Elliewood. It is good to see you again, Oswin. So you came as well. Yes, Lord Uther... Uh, was worried about Lord H Hector traveling alone. I've been ordered to keep a close eye on him. <laughs> of course. Good to have you with us. Dorothy would be proud. <laughs> Hopefully she won't meet the same uh, fate as Dorothy. Uh, Lord Hector, why didn't you tell me uh, the fighting was done? I apologize for the interruption. I couldn't restrain her any longer. Are these your companions, Hector? <laughs> oh, yes, I suppose they are. One might have hoped for better, but... That was uncalled for. I can't believe you said that. Matthew, did you hear what he just said about you? <laughs> Me? He was talking about you. Hector, why don't you introduce us? The noisy one is Sarah. Believe it or not, she's a cleric. Yes, I am Sarah, my lord. Pleased to meet you. And that's Matthew. He does a lot of sneaking around. My lord. Sneaking around? Well, I uh, gather information. Open doors, chests, and such. I've got nimble fingers. Ooh, ooh. That sounds like, like a thief's work. Well, don't let it worry you, but... This journey, I suspect it will be harder than you imagine. You may, uh, you may have to access things like this if you want to survive. What is it, Hector? You, do you know something? Nothing specific. Rumor, rumors abound, though. A league of assassins from Bern has been moving around Lycia. Experienced bounty hunters and mercenaries are vanishing. That reminds me. One of the men who attacked us said something odd. What is? Uh, what was that? Lord Elliewood, if I may. Marcus, good to see you. Lord Hector, it's been far too long. Your assistance is greatly appreciated. Come now, Marcus. Uh, no need for, for formalities. Tell me what you heard. Of course, the apparent leader of the gang 
of thugs. Uh, he indicated that someone was watching Lord Elliewood. That someone needed him dead. Mm, that is troubling. Actually, a captain of the guard was watching the fight when we arrived. He was a knight of uh, Centaurus, and yet he just stood there and let the Lord be attacked. I think he was planning on seeing you die. Happy Valentine's Day to you too, Acorn. Any special Valentine's Day plans with uh, with someone's? For me, absolutely not. <laughs> Except chat, I guess. My my special Valentine's Day plan is with all of you, and Fire Emblem. So Pana, what do you think? You might be right. Something may have happened to Lord Hellman too. Well, I didn't say that. I don't know who Lord Hellman is. Come, we must hurry to the castle. Elliot, who is this? This is Pano. I require tactical aid in, in the search for my father and... Oh, I see. So this is who directed the battle plan back there. Hmm? You know, Pano, you're very young. Oh, thank you. Uh, we've many strategists in Ostia, but none so young. Elliot, are you sure about this one? Pano is still a student of military strategy, but we've received nothing but sound advice so far. Pano has my trust. All right, I suppose I shall witness your skills firsthand. Well met, Pano. Hello, how have you been, Pano? Uh, my secrets revealed. Oh, that, yes, it's true. My guise as a common thief was but a ruse. I've served House, uh, House Ostia for some time as a spy of sorts. Surprised? Well, regardless, it looks like we'll be traveling together again. Here's to our mutual mutual survival. Hell yeah. Yee! <laughs> Pano, is it really you? It's been far, far too long. You missed me, didn't you? Of course you did, I knew it. I did miss you, Sarah. Hmm? Didn't I tell you before? I'm in the employ of Ostia, Lycia's ruling territory. I'll be here to help you just like before. Aren't you lucky? I am lucky. It's not a compliment to other people. I'm not sure Hector is really that fantastic at uh, interacting with others. The Lord's like you scares me. I know, dude. Every time Lynn like looked straight to the camera during the Lynn section, I was like, what the fuck? d, &D session tonight is my Valentine's Day plan. That sounds cool. That sounds dope. Hollywood uh, or Hector <laughs> Hollywood, the combination of both of them. That's their ship name. Uh, Hector rescues Elliewood, and the two friends are reunited. The Paladin Marcus reveals news. Someone has called for Elliewood's death. Frey's problems must be connected to the attempt on Elliewood's life. Searching for more clues. Hector and friends depart for the castle of Marques Centaurus. Mark Fire Emblem Gaming, you gotta love it. Mark is my favorite, uh, for, oh my, Jack Strats, thank you for the follow, or thank you, sorry, thank you for the raid. What's up guys, welcome, welcome. Pink Brain Boys incoming, welcome everyone. We're just playing some uh, Fire Emblem 7 over here. I really appreciate it. Uh, Master Effidel, what is the meaning of this? Peace, Lord Hellman, whatever is wrong. You said you were just going to frighten Elliewood. Your men almost killed him. My patience is at an end. I've deceived, uh, or I've decided I must tell Elliewood everything and apologize. You would betray us? I'm tired of you and the Black Fang. Now, remove yourself from my castle. Your presence pains me. Lord Hellman, is there nothing I can do to change your mind? Nothing. In that case, you're no longer of any use. What? Uh. All right, well, rip that guy. <laughs> Tyrant, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Hello, hello. We tried to Fire Emblem 7 Iron Man a while ago, but got distracted and dropped it. Okay, I gotcha. I gotcha. Fire Emblem 7 can be pretty funky to Iron Man, but it can be fun. Matthew level up strat for level 1, uh, or for chapter 1, Galaxy Brain stuff. Yeah, I never... I, I have done... Like I explained, I've done the thing where you steal back and forth to get him a level. Never had I considered, though, grinding him to 20. That's That's pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy stuff. There's the castle, Elliewood. Hmm? Who's there? Show yourself. Ah, I can't believe I was spotted by a snot-nosed <laughs> stripling. Who are you? No, never mind. Keep your name. <laughs> keep your keep your name goes pretty hard before he even reacts. Why should I care what a corpse is called? Jesus Christ! What a fucking badass. The cub thinks he's a wolf. Does your bite match your bark? Tell you what, if you make it to the castle alive, we'll find out, eh? <laughs> Ken died with 3% thunder crit and Urk died as a green unit. Oh my god! Yeah, that's really rough. That sounds like Fire Emblem 7. That is really unfortunate. Yeah, the, the Urk recruit can be really iffy. You gotta be careful with that, but... 
Um, we we did train Kent actually um, on uh, on our Lin playthrough, and yeah, his luck is honestly that's one of the biggest reasons that like I don't love training Kent because his luck is so bad. Hey you, yeah, the new dog. Get this right, or you're gone. I know, I know. I just got this job. I don't want to lose it. Of course, the smart thing to do uh, would have been not to get involved in this ugly with this ugly bunch. Gotta have gold if you want to eat, though. I was too picky before. If I think about the time I passed out in Kalen, ooh. Guy gaming indeed. He ran to a knight and attacked him at one range. Wait, Urk attacked him at one range and he missed? <laughs> maybe it just wasn't meant to be. Maybe Urk just wasn't a character that uh should be recruited. That's really funny. That's um yeah, that's not great. Uh maybe it maybe it just wasn't meant to be. I passed out in Kaylin. Oh, nothing funny about that. That man, what was his name? Matthew? If it hadn't been for him, I would have starved to death. What are you mumbling about? Get over here now. Yes, yes, I'm coming. At least I've got work. There's nothing I could do to get him. Yeah. Unfortunately, Fire Emblem just has... There's actually a couple other moments in Fire Emblem 7 like that, too. Well, one in particular in the in the late game, where green units just start away from your team, and <laughs> sometimes the Fire Emblem gods decide to, to just murder them outright, and it's, it's never very fun, but at least he's not a game over condition. That's nice. Say, Panna, uh, not sure how to say this. You're a full-blown tactician now, aren't you? I am. Not just an apprentice like before. <laughs> no need to be so modest. My lord tactician, I humbly await your no doubt brilliant orders. That sounded sarcastic, but thank you, Matthew. Um, okay, so this chapter can be a little sketchy. Um, but what I usually like to do is move Marcus as far down here as I can. Uh, this guy being in the forest tower probably doesn't matter. Three defense. 20 tech now. Marcus is a beast. Because basically, you want to get this house, uh, but you also want Matthew to, or sorry, Guy to probably come up here to so recruit it with Matthew. So, I usually like to um, get that house with Ma uh, Marcus and then deal with that. You can find her in a firm engage at the moment with some dumb unit slash class combo. And it's going far better. That sounds cool. That sounds pretty cool. Yeah, Engage definitely has a lot more, a lot more options than this game does. I never, I, I never finished Engage. It's actually the only Fire Emblem game that I never finished, but I really enjoyed it. Um, so I'm glad you're having fun with that. My, our actually our current sort of playthrough schedule or series that I'm doing on the channel is um, to Iron Man all the Fire Emblem games. So we'll eventually get to Engage, hopefully. Uh, but yeah, we're obviously on Fire Emblem 7 at the moment. But uh, but that's cool. Engage is a lot of fun. Is Guy Gaming on the menu for this run? That's the plan. Again, in order to kill Kashuna, the best strategy that I can think of is to use Guy with a killing edge and try to get a crit. So I think I do want to go all in on Guy and try to make that work. To visit one year one year later yeah i like those newer games because they have like you said there's like so many different options with the characters and the classes and stuff like that which is really cool i think three houses has a lot of that stuff too i think a lot of the newer games so i'm like i'm very familiar with like Fire Emblem one through like shadow dragon like those games i would say i'm like like pretty much an expert on but everything past there i've, I've played all the Fire Emblem games but i'm not as familiar and so I'm, I'm excited to, to try some of the newer games, but yeah, Engage is really cool. I like to Engage a lot. Game is a lot of fun. Well, thanks for the follow, Jack. I appreciate it. So these archers are a little bit annoying. Unfortunately, there's no javelins at this stage, so you kind of just have to kill these guys one at a time. I also did not give him the lance, which was not a good idea, but that's okay. Too much freedom of classes for my taste. 90% of the cast are growth units. Yeah. Three Houses is definitely funky. I'm not, a, like, the biggest fan of Three Houses. I did enjoy it when it came out. And I would be excited to try it again, but... Yeah, I would agree. Um, and I also think Three Houses, like, gameplay tends to get kind of... Kind of bogged down in all the, like... Um, school stuff and the weekly stuff and all, all that kind of stuff. But I haven't played that game in a while, so...
with Fates Boy at heart. So it's, I, I really want to try Fates, and obviously we will at some point on this series. When I first played Fates, I, I think I played Conquest. I think was the one that I, I, um, I played and I really didn't like it. But I've heard from a lot of people that if you give it a chance, it's really, really fun. So I'm really excited to try it and I think I will at, at some point I'm going to retry it, but I really didn't like uh, that game very much when it first came out. Fates is more perfect balance flexibility, but all the units have proper identity. That's what I've heard, yeah. My, uh, I, I explained this before, but my thing about Fates, I think, was when it came out, I was, the way I was approaching Fire Emblem was a lot different than I do these days. Like, I was more, I guess casual is the right word, and a lot of the Fates mechanics were, like, very frustrating to me. Like, there were so many abilities that interacted in combat, and I, I wasn't, like, in the game enough or, like, paying enough attention to the game to engage with the mechanics enough. So it just became really frustrating for me, rather than a lot of these older ones that are much more simple. But I think now that I am much more invested in engaging with the mechanics and I Iron Man a lot and stuff, I think I would enjoy those games quite a bit more. But at the time, I, it was really not for me. Ah, what good timing. Would you try this for me? It's an invention of a great witch, me! It's a vine! <laughs> it's a vine! It contains some very explosive magic. Hide it in the ground, and when an enemy steps on it, kaboom! <laughs> I'm still testing it, so that one's free. Come back and tell me how it works. So there is a, um, there is a mind glitch in this game that allows you to take control of the enemy, uh... Waiter, waiter! <laughs> Rebecca with no strength, please! <laughs> right this way, of course, of course. Um, there is a way, there is a mind glitch that allows you to take control of the enemy's turn in this game. And you can actually do some pretty funky stuff with it. I think they use it in speedruns, but we won't be, uh, we won't be doing that. Kokos is for sure the best design game in the series, so clean and tight. And well made, yeah. That, again, that's what I've heard from a lot of people, so I'm very excited to try that again. Look for a good story. I think that was part of the problem for me too, is, because I totally agree, I thought the story was really was really kind of bad and I didn't really enjoy it very much and so I th I think just I was just kind of frustrated by the whole presentation when I got fates I think that's a big part of it I already tell I'm not gonna love it as much as awakening that was part of it for me too is awakening felt much more like uh, I don't again I don't know if casual is the right word but I really liked awakening when it came out and fates was a little different you feel big brain when you know how the mechanics work yeah and see that's like that's something that didn't necessarily appeal to me like i said when i like way back when when i was playing fire emblem but really appeals to me now it's hard for me to say this for sure because obviously i haven't played it but i i think i might actually love fates when i get there conquest cartridge yeah the the 3ds um closing i think i think conquest i actually have a like a real thing of, but that's the only one I own. The mind glitch is quite comical. Yeah, it's pretty funky. I remember when I was a kid and there there's so many like obviously we you know if you if you grew up around like the 90s and the mid 2000s there's there's a lot of like the Mew thing in Pokemon and a lot of people saying like you could do this, you could do that and it all wound up being bullshit, but the mind glitch was not bullshit. It was it was very real and very bizarre. That will never do. Look at the time. I must leave for Kaylin now, or my business will be ruined. Time is money, after all. Hurry, hurry. Rush, rush, rush. <laughs> What's this? Did this? Did that man drop this? He dropped a torch, which he might need in uh, in a couple of chapters. So you guys both have lances, I believe, if I remember correctly. Yes, that is true. Um, I could have them fight Lowen. It's probably not a terrible idea. I wish Hector was a little moved up here, but that's okay. I think you can take both hits, right? 13? Yeah, you should be good. This can, this is the one annoying thing about this chapter is by doing this route and going over here, it can get pretty congested, which can be an, pretty annoying, but it should be okay. Will I never use the mine, uh, the mine at all? <laughs> Fire Emblem 7. Yeah, I usually sell it. Like I said, unless you're doing the mine glitch, I think there are some strats on some defend chapters where you can use it pretty effectively, but it's kind of like the, if you ever played like Path of Radiance and stuff, they have those things where... I don't know what they're called, but they like make this little magic thing in a, in a tile and then enemies can't go over it. It can be useful, but in only very specific circumstances.
is 100% my favorite in the series. Man, you're, make, you're making me really want to play it. <laughs> oh man, we, we will one day. We will play that game. That That is probably the game that I'm most excited. That one didn't engage. My nose is super stuffed up all of a sudden. Um, Fate and Engage are probably the two that I'm like most excited to try again. Can I kill both of these guys? That would be ideal. 10 damage. Okay, this is really good if he can hit. I believe in Bartry. Yeah, what a beast. What a beast. Is that a pigeon you're telling you it's bad? I don't know if I really- I don't know if I was necessarily going in under the, like, preconceived notion that it would be bad. I probably did here, because I think- I don't think Fates was, like, that well received, if I remember correctly. But... And the experience so much more digestible. See, that's- I think that's part of the reason, like I said, when I first played Fates, I was... kind of frustrated with it. <laughs> We'll see, we'll see. The only Fire Emblem game that I would say that I hate is Fire Emblem Gaiden. That's the <laughs> that's the only one. Although Fates, like I said, at least at least in the one time that I played Conquest, I was pretty frustrated with it, but we shall see. But it's honestly it's hard for me to imagine that there's a Fire Emblem game that I would like. With the way that I currently play Fire Emblem, it would hard, be hard for me to imagine there's a Fire Emblem game that I would, like, hate. Other than Gaiden, which I do hate. But. Okay, so this, this guy recruit should be pretty easy. Unfortunately, we do need to back up a little bit, but... Sometimes I'm a little bit slower, um, but it seems like we've actually gone pretty fast here. Yeah, we need to back up a little bit. This is a, I've explained this before, but this is one of the reasons that Hector is so good. Because both Hector and Oswin do a great job of, like, forming this defensive perimeter. Which is really important for a lot of these chapters. This chapter isn't a defense chapter, so it's not as crucial, but... Because you have to recruit, um, Guy, it can be a little sketchy. Iron Man, let's go. What's up, Mark the Sun Bro? Welcome, welcome. Yes, we are, uh... Iron Manning Fire Emblem 7. The plan for this Iron Man, by the way, is to... To do the Kashuna chapters, um, which is actually one of the reasons that we did Lin mode. I don't normally do Lin mode. Now, is it possible to do the Kashuna chapters on an Iron Man? I don't know, but we're gonna find out. So if Matthew ends up here, and or sorry, if Guy ends up here and Matthew's here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, it's not gonna work. I have to move him up at least a little bit. If I move him here, it's probably too, da too dangerous. If I move him here. One enemy will be able to attack him? That's probably okay. Okay, I think I like the position. Actually, let's move the healer back one. And then Dorcas can get up here and help, maybe. Okay, we should be good. Could you feel too shallow? Really, my siblings are my best friends. Yeah, I agree with that completely. That was part of my problem too. Fates kind of has this, um, this, yeah, this weird thing where you're just like shoved in in this this world that you don't really know anything about, and yeah, like these people are supposed to be your families. You're, I think it's, I think part of the annoying thing is that you're supposed to be like making this decision. You know, do you help your real family or do you help like your basically adopted family? But because it's like at the beginning, and for my purposes, because Conquest just forced you to pick one or the other. Um, in, in the case of Conquest, it was your adopted family. Like, it doesn't really feel like you have choices, you know? Which can kind of make it feel a little, uh, I don't know, a little, a little annoying in that regard. He was enjoy to Iron Man outside of Chapter 1. Yes, yes. Chapter 1, I was talking about this when we were doing it. If you're talking about the Hector Chapter 1, I genuinely think that's like one of the most difficult chapters in the entire game. It's funny because it's chapter one, but man, it is, it is something. Okay, can I recruit Guy? That's the question. How scary is it to recruit Guy is the other question. Don't think this is where I want to be. Probably not. But that, of course, isn't to speak for the gameplay of, uh, of Fates, which is obviously, um... Actually, I could trap this guy. Man, I don't really have a great way to kill this guy. 
I wish Marcus was slightly farther. I mean, if Marcus was one tile up, that would be amazing. Oswin does have a javelin. Okay, maybe we can make this work. Let me hit this guy. Hopefully this hits. And oh, hopefully we crit. That's even better. All right, never mind. Oh, sorry. I thought you said chapter one. One chapter is in Battle Before Dawn. Yes. That I even more hard agree on. I completely agree. Yes, that that chapter is not only difficult, but goes beyond difficulty into uh, RNG bullshit mode. Which, yes, I completely agree. That, that, that might be my least favorite chapter in all of Fire Emblem, if I'm being honest. It is horrible. Okay, let me heal Matthew just so he's okay. Oswin understood the assignment. Oswin's a beast. He does whatever you need him to do. Hey, guy. Hold on, you. I know I know you. Isn't that... Uh, isn't your name Guy? It's Is that you, Matthew? What a pleasant surprise. How's your sword work coming? Uh, you are aware this isn't the best place to be catching up, aren't you? You and I were on opposite sides here. What? Are you saying you're gonna fight me? Well, uh, yeah. I'm much improved. You can't beat me. You're quite a terror, Guy. Well then, hold on. I think I'd prefer if you were paid me, if you were paid what you owe me. Huh? Last time I saw you, I gave you food. If I remember correctly, you said you owed me your life. I only said that because you said you'd feed me if I did. I hadn't eaten in 10 days and you were cooking meat. You, this, this isn't fair. The people of Sakai never lie. Isn't that right, guy? Yeah, fine. I finally find work and now I have to throw it away. This is all your fault. Don't worry, guy, you're gonna be a big part of our crew. It's gonna be great. Okay, let's buy an iron sword for you. Oh, you can buy javelins in hand. Oh, for some reason I thought I would also be able to attack. Well, that's a kind of a bummer, but I should be able to kill this guy. Should still be good though. Sorry. Everyone was convinced me that before it was worse than Night of Farewells. Yeah, well, Night of Farewells, there's a lot of like annoying chapters. Battle Before Dawn is like bullshit. It's just straight up bullshit. There's really nothing else to say. It's just bullshit. <laughs> I hate that chapter. Now, to be fair, as long as you're like handling Battle Before Dawn quickly, most of the time, most of the time you will be okay, but there is a chance that you just lose your run flat out. In fact, Battle Before Dawn is probably one of the only chapters in all of Fire Emblem that if you're doing an Iron Man, obviously if you're doing an Iron Man, you can decide, you know, how you want to handle it, but... Okay, Loan, do you want to be trained? What was that? He just got every stat! Maybe I do have to train him. Um, but if, if somebody was like, hey, Jafar killed himself on turn one and I reset on Battle Before Dawn on Iron Man, I'd be like, alright, alright. I can buy that. I can respect that. I'm trying to sing since Iron Man, I keep losing good characters so early. Yeah, it can be frustrating for sure. But one of the nice things about Sacred Stones is that there are a lot of good characters in that game. So you can you can kinda of rebound, but Damn Loan, yeah, that was sick. I said we weren't gonna trade Loan, but man, then he did that. Then, then he went and did that. Then he went ahead and did all that. So what, what does this guy look like? 24. What does Kishuna have? Kishuna has 24 speed. I wonder if there's any world. Nah, because he'd have to get like 28 speed. That's probably way too much, right? I was trying to think if there was like any world where you could potentially double Kashuna, but I don't think that's a possibility. You do everything right in Battle for Dawn and Zephyr still dies? Exactly, yeah. Uh, exactly. That's why it's bullshit. And like I said, that's why that's like one of the only chapters in Fire Emblem that if somebody reset their Iron Man for. Now granted, I think sometimes people play Battle Before Dawn and they don't do everything right and then things go bad. But I totally agree. You can you can literally move your max movement with like high movement characters every single turn towards Zephyl, and Zephyl still dies. Which really sucks. 
and is obviously not very fun. Is Matthew okay? Yeah, he should be good. I mean, Guy. For some reason, I could not seem to call Matthew and Guy the correct names. Uh, which I don't really know why, but... Oh, I can seal Vulnery. Wait, let's do that. That sounds cool. Oh, and actually, I meant to give you that, um... Iron Lance, so... Things kind of worked out there. Is this sketchy? No, it's not. No. Pre route split maps. Vanessa and friends, and they'll be ready to provide the route split. Yeah, Vanessa and friends are definitely two of the better units to go for in that game. Obviously, you can always rely on Seth as well, which is great. You know, battle, battle Before Dawn counting your Iron Man? Well, it depends. So, I I personally always um, always count it. Like, even if we fail and I feel like there's nothing that I could have done, I still count Battle Before Dawn and the Iron Man. Like, I still reset. I'm just saying that if somebody else was really frustrated with it and decided not to count it as their, in their Iron Man, I think I would, I would like, understand that. But no, I, I personally still count it and just get really frustrated. <laughs> I just go Katsuna by passing around the Killing Edge with the promoted Raven, with the promoted Lowen and Marcus. Interesting. I think that could work. I was thinking Guy would be better than Raven just because he gets the big um, crit boost on promotion, but some other people were talking about Raven too. There's a chance that Raven could be better. Raid, what's up, Short Fuse? Welcome, welcome. Yep, we, we did get raided. I appreciate it. Friends then I would just reset. It's up to you. A lot of, like I said, a lot of units in um, in that game can be really good though. But friends is really good. To not leave the pillar and heal would be nice. That would be nice. But there are times where he can even die on the pillar. But I agree. Having better AI would be really beneficial. Having better AI in all of Fire Emblem would be really beneficial, <laughs> to be completely honest. But yeah. Yeah, every time he steps off that damn pillar, I, I lose my mind. So I, I would agree with that. What's your range? You gotta be a little bit careful with this guy, because he's a Steel Lance. I have absolutely lost low ends and stuff before to getting too close to him. So definitely be definitely be cognizant of that guy. He can, he can ruin you. I put my speed curse Hector at Ursula range. Yes, yes. I have absolutely done that before as well. That's something I'm always extremely careful about. When that happens to you once, on the plus side, once that happens to you once, you're going to probably be really careful in the future. But I, I, I did that once a while back and yeah, never again. You actually double that guy? Yo, you're kind of sick with it. Holy crap. But yeah, Ursula will absolutely do- And the thing is, I'm pretty sure Ursula, like... Like, even a non-screwed um, Hector, I'm pretty sure Ursula will just double basically any Hector. Like, even if he has good speed. Green AI Swordmaster in Three Houses in Chapter 12. Oh, she kind of a beast? Some of the green units in um, in the Tellius games can be pretty good, too. There, there's some decent green units out there. I think some of the newer green units are better. It's just the really funny green units, the really, okay, as far as green units tier list, the really bad ones, the only really, really bad green units are the ones that are like game over conditions and they like intentionally kill themselves, like Jill from Radiant Dawn. Even the really bad ones in like Sacred Stones, for example, at least they just suck, right? Like they're not useful, but they're not, they don't like lose you the game on the spot. So I can't say they're too bad. I'm gonna just pick up Lowen. That's probably the easiest thing to do here. If you want to come attack Porch, because there's no way you double, right? No, you, you literally have zero speed. Still burned into my mind. Yep. Yeah, every time we do that chapter, I'm always extremely careful about... Like, I always bring up Fire Emblem WOD, and I'm very careful about where exactly I've positioned Hector in relation to her. It's scary. 
<laughs> they never happen to me again. Yeah, that is the one benefit. Once crazy shit like that happens, at least it's like it's burned into your memory and you know for next time. That is the one benefit. Oh, I forgot about that guy. What is that guy doing? Yeah, it's fine. Dude's return to Archer. Yeah, although that dude can be wacky, but yeah. Is she three for three on res? She has four res. She's like, um... Wait, did this guy go to heal but then miss the fort? <laughs> what the fuck? He like went down to heal but he like missed the fort. The fort's right here, buddy. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really know what's going on there, but... Whatever. <laughs> I guess it's okay. What do you have, a hand axe? Yeah, just kill him. I'm sick of looking at him. Some GC indexes for Marcus and Hector. Yes, that is a very good idea. I'm gonna probably buy, like, maybe one more heal for Sarah, but yeah, definitely, uh... Some of the fell off the fort? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how he ended up down there. A little weird. Doesn't seem that complicated to just get to the fort, but... We need... I need people with inventory space available. You appear to have a bunch of inventory space available. Me three hand axes. Okay. Who wants to kill this boss? It's usually Hector's job. I think it'll probably remain Hector's job. Yeah, I don't, I don't really want to poke the, the bee's nest over there. Seems a little sketchy. Forgot the keys, he can't get in. <laughs> He just locked himself out of his fort. He was just lulling uh, Elliewood in. This is a little bit annoying if Elliewood can't kill here, but I believe in Elliewood. Okay, sweet. Ellie bad. Classic Ellie bad. Ah, that was an okay level. I, you know, I'll take some defense and res and HP. Not gonna complain too much. So can Guy fight these guys? It's all lances. I don't really think so. How much defense do we have? Okay, so six, but really five because weapon triangles. So nine plus eight is 17. Plus six is 23. So he'll live with one health. No, no, because they can all reach him. Oh, if I go like here. Yeah, we could do that. Again, normally I'm not such a hound for experience, but because we're like kind of obsessive about doing the whole Kashuna thing, I kind of want experience for Guy. All right, this is slightly unnecessary, but we're gonna do it. You got healed, right? Yeah. Boy, be Bulkin, Ellie won't. Alright, load up on 1-2 range. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Ooh, that's actually an interesting idea. I never thought about baiting with him. Baiting with Marcus, but also baiting with Marcus carrying someone. So that he doesn't just flat out kill. That's kind of a cool idea, actually. It looks like the archers don't move. Oh no, they can't reach me. Oh, wait, this is actually kind of a good position. I think we're okay, but that would that would have been a cool idea. <laughs> L E <-wood. laughs> eliminated wood. <laughs> I love Ellie wood has got to be like the character whose name gets memed on the most. <laughs> every time I every time we have Ellie wood do anything, it's either Ellie good or more often it's just all of that. <laughs> oh yeah, that's good. L L E wood. It's great. Magic, we love that. We love that. Do you think there's any world, like, in the entire universe where Guy could double Kashuna on the first Kashuna chapter? Like, that's just insane, right? There's no way that could ever happen. But, what if? That would be so sick, though. How many- how much speed does a Swordmaster get when they promote? That's the question. I wonder. I'm actually kind of curious. I 
Oh, I can't... Wait, how much do they... I think they get one or two. Hold on. Let me see. Does it say on Serenus Force? It probably says, right? <laughs> it probably says... What if we had a speed wing? Wait, do you get a speed wing before that Kashuna chapter? Um, okay. Is there a promotion growth rates, base stats? Uh, promotion gates, here we go, okay. Swordmaster gets plus... Wait, Swordmaster gets no speed, what? Dude, promotion gains are ass in this game. Are you kidding me? He gets no speed, <laughs> that's so ass. All right, well, never mind. It's not possible, I think. All right, well. They don't get speed, jeez. Oh, that's right, Acorn. I was gonna, oh, man, I keep forgetting to do that. Every time, every time I like think about doing that, I just forget. Tonight, tonight I'll do that. Later on tonight. Um, I need someone to just like chip this guy a tiny bit. Perfect. Dude, he actually gets no speed on promotion. Oh my goodness. That's a- I mean, the thing is, like, it actually doesn't matter that much because obviously Swordmasters already have amazing speed, so... You know, if he's already capped at 20, why does he need one more speed? But because Kashuna has... Is in charge of making the Kashuna chapters? God, I don't know, man. I don't know, but they really should not be in charge of anything ever again. Because those chapters are terrible. Yeah, how do you look fighting this guy? No crit, I like that. Um, not amazing, but not terrible. He just has a steel lance? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna buy one bow for you just so that I don't immediately like run out of bows and then we should be good to go. He's level four? Okay, we got some work to do. Coming out, we're here. Well, 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 you survived, I see. You'll find that I'm a bit tougher than those fools you faced before. What have you done with Marquez, uh, uh, Marquez, uh, Centuras? I was gonna say Marquez Valdez Scantling, but <laughs> You wanna know? You'll have to beat, you'll have to best me first. I like the, they do some pretty cool, like, um, coloring in this game. Like, this guy's like a gray knight. There was like that pink knight, there's a green one in the, in Lin mode. There's some cool knight colors. Boys. They really like night bosses in this game, especially in the Hector mode, because there's a bunch of them. Okay, can we kill this guy? Probably. Can you survive this guy's attack? Yes, sir. Okay. So people were also talking about doing potentially Guy plus Priscilla. Is it? Yes, yeah, Priscilla in this game, right? Because it's Clarine in the other game. Now that's a low and level up, okay. Um, but doing their support because I think it increases um, crit, so that might be good. Okay, let's heal Hector. Like, hypothetically... No, I think we're gonna have to use two more of these anyways. I kind of want to save one, but I think we're gonna have to... Unfortunately, despite the fact that I'd love to give Rebecca this kill, I do not think that Rebecca is strong enough to actually damage the boss. Yeah, we would have been one short. Okay, still increases crit and attack. Okay. I like the idea of that then. That sounds pretty good to me. like a good strategy so that's currently where i'm at which is guy plus priscilla and then as much crit as we can get on yeah on guy matthew support being faster to build that's actually ooh, that might be good then because we're, we're definitely going to be bringing matthew on that chapter because we need him to steal from the boss so maybe that's what we should do you beat me, but you're too late to save him. Too, too bad, eh, laddie? Ha ha ha, whatever he said. 
Nice, another Hector level up. That's a good level up. Wow, this is a good Hector. His speed is probably average to below average, but he's been quite good. Well, I guess we may as well start building it right now, right? I mean, I think we can. Okay, let me let me build. I don't know exactly how. Um, did I turn off auto cursor? I did. Okay. I don't know exactly how supports build in this game, but ten base plus three per uh, per turn. Get Priscilla's base here. Okay, so, so it builds faster and it's starting farther. Okay. Does anybody know how how uh, supports work in this game? Like, is there like a turn limit on this, or can I just do this forever? Or? You're building Hector support? I guess we are, I hadn't thought about that. I'm really not an expert on support. Yeah, I suppose we are. Wait, should I not be building this though? Does that like take away from the guy, uh, Matthew support? Should I not be building Sarah Hector support? I don't know, whatever, it's funny. Comedy always wins. Not a, not a turn limit, but a support level limit. Oh, uh, we, we can let him do it. Whatever, who cares? I'm not trying to do this like, you know. Certain value per map. Oh, I see, I see. Okay. I got you, I got you. I got you. Show the conversation, you say the points. Oh, is that how it works? Apparently, I'm building nothing. <laughs> Critics. I mean, that could be good. I do, you, I do usually use Sarah quite a bit on this um, in this game, so. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not an expert on supports. So I almost never build them. But if we're serious about Kashuna, I do think we should be serious about this. And I am very serious. Also, we could maybe build some, like, Kent Sane support when we eventually get there. That would be cool. Okay, we can at least get to see here. Greetings, guy. Matthew, you seem well. Gotten used to the troop? As much as uh, could be hoped. That is good, then. <laughs> I just got here, Matthew. What the hell? <laughs> now, what shall I do? What shall I have you do next? <laughs> what? I joined your army. I've paid back what I ate. Now, guy, have you forgotten? One favor for one piece of meat, right? You still owe me three favors. <laughs> hey, that's not fair. Don't try to play dumb with me. Look, you wrote it here on this oath paper yourself. <laughs> he had him sign a paper? Demon. What grudge drives you to be so cruel to me? Uh, you're not the you're not one to mince words, are you? We had a deal. I'll never give in. I'll chal I challenge you. The stakes, that oath paper. Now why would I have to do something like that? Uh, aha! You're just scared I'd beat you. Guy, no one's dumb enough to fall for that old ruse. Quiet. If you're a man, you'll fight me. Fine, fine. Have it your way. I'll take you on just this once. If you win, your debts are cancelled. Really? Yes. And I get to choose the timing of the fight. Then choose. My sword will never lose to yours. I'll show you just how much I've learned. He's gonna choose like the middle of the night or something. Oh, do these two have support? Okay, we can move them. Well, I think we built, we can probably get out of here. I think we built as much of a support with these guys as we can. I'm not trying to like mid-max this to, you know, the nth degree. Our support points uh, in is the limit for each unit. Oh yeah, yes, I believe so. One conversation per chapter, but you can keep incurring points in the same chapter. Oh, interesting. Okay, maybe we should have kept doing it. I don't know. It's all right. Lord Hellman, is that you, Ellie Wood? Hold on, my lord. I, I must apologize. Your father, he... Do you know something, sir? I, if I hadn't told Elbert about Darren's plans, this never would have... <coughs> goof, goof. Lord Hellman, go to Laos. Darren, the Marquess of Laos knows all. Marquess of Laos? I'm so Oh my god, I get the hiccups. I'm sorry, Ellie Wood, I, I can't. Hold on. Beware the Black Fang. Lord Hellman, he's gone. It can't be. The Black Fang is a pretty cool name for a rogue organization. Lord Hellman, why? Why did this happen? Blast, what is going on? We go to Laos. We must speak to the Marquess of Laos, Lord Darren. You're right, we should leave quickly. I'm not sure how far we can get today, but 
I can't sit still. Pardon me. Mm -hmm. If I may. Who are you? I'm the steward of Centaurus. With all with our lord gone, what are we to do? First, you give Lord Helmet a proper burial. After that, I'm sure the Lycian Council uh, will have to meet. Stay here and defend the castle until you hear me. Until you hear more. I understand. Let's go. We must keep moving. Yes, and now we seek answers from uh, Marquez. Oh, for Marquez Centaurus. Okay, I thought you said from him. I was like, actor, he's dead on the ground. Lord Helmet, may you find peace. So, if you don't accept the side quest, do you just not get Merlinus? I always wondered about this. If you don't accept the side quest, do you just not get Merlinus for the rest of the playthrough? The dying words of Lord Helmet, the Marquess of Tintaras, only serve to strengthen Hector's convictions. Darren, the Marquess of Laos, knows all. To ascertain the truth of what he's heard, Hector departs for Laos. To reach Laos of, of from Tintaras, Hector's group must pass through a village in Kalen. They decide to rest there for the night. Santa Cruz, the, oh, so like S Santa Cruz? You're probably right. I'll be honest, I wish it would stop bringing up that name because I feel like I'm pronouncing it wrong every single time. He's the best character in all of Fire Emblem. Loki he is. Ah, dark already. We'll have to stop here for the night. We'll set off for Laos at the first sight, uh, sign of sunlight. Marcus, prepare the camp. Yes, my lord. So this is Kaelin. Uh, you think we ought to present ourselves to Lord Housen? We're simply passing through here, so I don't see the need. I am curious how Lindis is getting along, though. Lindis? Uh, why did I just move backwards? I don't know. Marquess Kaelin's granddaughter. Oh, her. The missing heir who dealt with uh, Lundgren last year. Don't you have something uh, to do with that? Did you have something to do with that? Mm-hmm. And the granddaughter? Is she a beauty? A beauty? She's... I don't... She's... I think she, I think it must be her Sakai heritage. She's striking. Striking? Too bad, isn't it? What? That we don't have time to see her, lover boy. No, Lindis and I are, we're not. You're not, then why are you getting so worked up? Hector, don't make me angry. <laughs> uh, you were so much fun to tease. Mm, what was that? Did you hear something? It was a scream. Somebody's being attacked. Do we help? Of course. Oh no, somebody help! Grr, stupid old fool. He's kept us running in circles for hours. My my valuable merchandise, what are you gonna do? Hey, look at this, the old man's, the old fool's wealthy. <laughs> Our lucky day, eh, Puzan? Let go, let go, will you let go? What a racket. Puzan, can we get rid of this simpleton? I suppose so, there's no reason to keep him alive. Oh my, <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Hold, release that man. What? There's a lot of, um, there's a lot of, like, noises that they, uh, that they, like, write out in this game. We're not after you, dullard. We want the old man and his goods. If you value your life, you'll leave now. What did you say? Who do you think you are? Uh, do you think you can walk away with our spoils? You halfwit. Do we look like thieves to you? Um, we'll not let you pro- We'll not let our profit be snatched away so easily. Come, to me now. Hold nothing back. Kill them all. Well, shit. <laughs> Mild shock. <laughs> How do I say that? Aye! <laughs> you, they call you Pano, am I right? I am Merlinus, a humble and lowly merchant. I know nothing of combat. Please, you must protect me. <laughs> Aye! Do you fear chapters later if you don't do the guide and you're stuck with no convo for longer? Oh, okay. Interesting. Is it a game over condition? It probably is, right? Okay, so this chapter is interesting. It can actually be a little bit tricky. Especially if you want to get this house. This house is actually, like, pretty annoying to get, and I, I often don't get it. Do you want to just kill this guy? It's probably a good place to start. But I did always wonder about that. I did always wonder what would happen if you didn't do the, the guidance chapter. Like, what would happen to Merlinus? <laughs> okay. Pretty average uh, guy level up there. Melissa dying is a game over? Okay, it's good to know. I don't think I've ever had him die. Usually I went up rescuing him and bringing him down here, and I'll probably do that on this as well. So, if we do something... This is the... We've been actually, like, not using Marcus a ton, but this is this is kind of the chapter, or the portion of the game where we really start using Marcus a lot. The The past couple of chapters, you know, you can use him, you can avoid using him. It's, it's kind of the same, but... We're so nice, Rebecca. I love it. 
eat him after Kaelin? Ooh, yikes. Yeah, we, do, we definitely don't want to wait that long. Okay, guys. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it is a defend chapter, so killing people isn't, like, the most crucial thing, but it would be kind of cool to kill people. Okay, I'm going to bring him down here. And then... You have a hand axe? Yikes. Oh, your hit is, like, atrocious, right? I don't really want to put Matthew in this, like, kind of danger, but I think the percentage here is low enough to where it's okay. Yeah, definitely waiting until Kaylin would be very annoying. Especially after Kaylin. When you say after Kaylin, you mean, like, after all of Kaylin? Like, after you... Wow, that's actually a while. Um, maybe there? Maybe? And then I'll have the healer just kind of sit in the middle. And the Eliwood should come down here, too. It should be good, I think. Is that one of those faces that makes me look like kind of a celebrity, but I can never re remember which one? Um, yeah, he kind of does. He kind of looks like this might be this might be crazy, and I probably have to see him again. But he kind of looks like Joaquin Phoenix. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. After the Raven chapter, yeah, wow, that is quite a bit of time. Yeah, really, really glad that, that we get him here, obviously. That is... It's a lot longer than I was uh, expecting. But the Merlin chapter is free. I mean, I don't, I don't think you have to do anything to get here. So the only way that you would have to wait that long for Merlin is if you just said no. <laughs> Which is weird. Getting that house can be really complicated. There is money in that house, so... Getting it is, like, not a terrible idea. In fact, it's a pretty good idea if you can manage it. But the problem is for Marcus to go out and try to get that, um... Visit the upper left of Lilith's chapter trigger. Oh, I suppose that makes sense, right? Because that's where Merlinus was. I didn't know that, actually. I guess I've just never not visited that village. But in order to get Marcus to the top right village in this chapter, you have to sort of forgo him in a defensive position which can be very challenging. That guy just blew up a snag that made a, wait, what the fuck? Did I just see that right? What just happened? Wait, he just blew up the snag here to make a bridge. Oh, I guess, I guess brigands can walk over water. That's why that looks so weird. He blew it up so that it would like go backwards. That's so strange. Okay, so actually getting this mage to go out like this is not a terrible idea. If I can... If I can... What can I do? Um, ooh, that's a good question. What can I do? Can I do this? I'd love to get... I, I want to get Oswin to where the mage currently is, but that will of course require us to kill the mage. Which I think we can do without too much issue. Can Elliewood help me out? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. First I thought he wouldn't be able to do it. But yeah, killing that mage is actually pretty useful because if you put Oswin or a unit here too, too quickly, the mage will just attack him at range over and over again, which isn't like the biggest deal in the world, but can be a little bit more annoying than you just killing him. Nice mage miss. Yeah, that was pretty nice. That was uh, pretty nice. Not gonna complain. Um, okay, let's do let's do this. I usually like to do kind of a defensive position here. We can bring Guy over here as well. He can help out. If you can get to these fort these uh forts, it can be really useful. But don't really know that we're gonna be able to do that. Yeah, Rebecca's not strong enough. Um. Yeah, I guess just kill this guy. To the Numis for picking up your squishies. Yeah, he can be annoying. He's usually not the biggest deal. And Oswin actually has yeah three base res, which doesn't seem very high, but it's actually pretty decent. So usually Oswin does do a very good job over there, but you have to be a little bit careful, obviously. Nobody's actually taking damage yet, which is kind of crazy. So I... Like, I'm pretty sure Melinus is okay where he is, but yeah, let's just do this, I guess. This I'm okay with. 
as I, you know, I've said this before, dodge tanking is pretty scary in Fire Emblem games, but if you can get, like, if you can get the hit in the teens and you don't have to take, like, 20 of them or something, um, I'm usually pretty okay with it, so. And honestly, you really don't have much other recourse over here. Your army is spread so thin on this chapter. Okay, this should be okay. I can just heal Marcus on my turn. Should be alright. Sick crit. I think he probably would have doubled anyways, but, you know, we'll take it. Just saved an Iron Lance hit there. Huge. Huge from the boy. Ooh, let's not take too much damage. I mean, I feel like you're okay, but I don't know for sure. That is one of the things to, to be on the lookout for in early Fire Emblem 7. Marcus is an absolute beast. We all know this, but he's not invincible. The one thing that Marcus actually kind of lacks is both HP and defense. 30 HP and like 10 defense is really good. Don't get me wrong. He is a beast, but... He's not, he's definitely not invincible. He's not as bulky as someone like Oswin or oftentimes Hector. He's really good offensively and his movement is great, but you, you can't just like throw him into the mix and expect him to survive everything, you know? Now, in saying that, he obviously will be fine on this turn, but you need to be a little bit careful with that. So you can see Hector takes like basically no damage because he actually has like, I think above 10 defense. But... Although actually one of the things that Marcus has really unique is 8 res, which doesn't seem that crazy high, but it's actually really solid. 8 res is like good enough to even be good in the mid to late game, to be honest, as a res stat. That is nothing to scoff at. I wonder if Rebecca can kill. Man, the problem is... What's my hit? What's your void? 18. It's gonna be like 80. All right, I'll try it. It is in this game is quite high. Yeah, it, it really is. Like, Marcus, Marcus does fall off in this game. I'll put that like in quotes, but even in the end game, his high movement and his high res is still like, still pretty good. Still pretty good. Okay, it should be fine because only one one two range unit can get to Rebecca, so I feel good about that. Um, Relina should still be okay down there. Okay, what are we doing here? So this is where, yeah, getting on these forts to deal with these nomads can be really useful, but it's tough once they start spawning to get on the on the forts. Obviously, if I could get. I don't want to do this. 14 attacks, you deal 8. How do I want to do this? That is a good question. Let's try... Let's start here. Let's try this. Okay, good start. Six start. Um, sure. I don't know if a guy can get over there. Better for him. I <coughs> started this game to lose Marcus and everyone else died this chapter to the point where I couldn't win it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this like I said, this this chapter can kick your ass for sure. It is not easy. Don't think this is worth it. Eh, actually, it doesn't take that much. You know what? Some chip damage is some chip damage. I'll take it. So better than Isadora? Yeah. That is true. That is true. My, my very first playthrough, I wonder if I had actually... I wonder if I saved the team. I actually have my Fire Emblem 7 copy in the other room, but my very first playthrough of Fire Emblem 7, I don't think I could beat the game. I was on the last chapter with... I remember I had a capped Marcus. I had, I think, Hawkeye and, like, Wrath. Like, promoted Wrath. And that was it. That was, like, my entire team. <laughs> and, yeah, I don't know if I could beat the game. I think I actually might just have, have been locked in the last chapter, to be honest. Although actually you get a Thos in the last chapter, so I probably wasn't locked, but yeah, that was that was my first uh my, <laughs> my first Fire Emblem 17 right there. Ooh, the, wait, this is oh Okay, that was a bad miss. I probably shouldn't have done that. Uh, that was kinda rough. Eh, we oh, we're probably okay. We're probably okay.
Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I ever finished that playthrough, to be honest. When I was a kid, honestly, it was like, it was a big deal if I even finished a Fire Emblem game, let alone like, Iron Man did or played it on hard mode. And I, I didn't play any Fire Emblem games on hard mode when I was younger. I remember I had a I had a playthrough, my brother had a playthrough of Path of, if you ever played Path of Radiance, he had a playthrough of Path of Radiance that was <coughs> on chapter um, to, uh, 20, I think it was, with, uh, I think, Leith, Titania, Ike, I think Jafar and Raisin. That was it. It's kind of funny, as, as kids, like when you don't know what you're doing in a Fire Emblem game, you almost kind of default to Iron Manning. Just because like, at least me as a kid, like I didn't really think about resetting. I just sort of like played the game. Unless somebody really important died. Um, but yeah, obviously I did not play the game very well. If I got myself into those positions. Okay, luckily, I didn't check this, but yeah, luckily our, our um, Rebecca's actually gotten some good speed level ups, so she doesn't just die flat out, which is really nice. Can you, can you help me out here? Oh my god, Bartry! Figure it out, buddy. That's all I have to say, figure it out. Yeah, you can't kill. I don't really have any two range here. Can you kill? Wait, it's still 13%? Okay, I'll take a 13%, yeah, that's not bad. I can always pick him up if things get really sketchy. I remember when I beat, uh, when I beat, I think Path of Radiance was the first Fire Emblem game I ever, like, completed. And, oh, please don't miss. Oh, God, I shouldn't have done that. That would have that been a terrible miss. Um, and I was, so, oh my God, I was so excited when I beat the game. Holy crap. Path of Radiance, I will say, even on an easy mode, I don't think Path of Radiance is... I mean, now if I went back and played it, of course I would think it would be, you know, pretty easy and most people would, but when I was a kid, man, Path of Radiance kicked my ass quite a bit. Okay, I can heal you, so it shouldn't be too bad. I'm assuming this won't work. Oh, it will! What a beast! What a beast. Okay, that, <laughs> that was not great. I was just with Heath as a kid. I was like, this scene is amazing nowadays. I'm like, meh, Heath. Yeah, Heath is just recruited a bit late, but I can understand why you'd be so excited about it. I liked Heath a lot when I was a kid too. I really liked, um, I really liked Cormeg from, uh, Fire, from Sacred Stones. I loved Cormeg. Because a lot of, because when, because the way I played Sacred Stones had a lot to do with doing like the, um, the like Tower of Velni and the ruins and stuff. I was really obsessed with units that had really high caps, and I really liked um, Cormeg because he had like, I think his like strength cap was really high or something. My Iron Man run was dyed <laughs> red in, was dyed in red with a uh, one percent crits. Yeah, that's always rough. That is always rough. One percent crits are like when you know that Fire Emblem is just—it's just not having it. She want to use Rebecca? That is a good question. I don't know. <laughs> to be fair, most of her other level ups were actually pretty good, but that one, yeah, that one was sus to say the least. It was not great. Okay, should be good here. We—we we will see. The Rebecca experiment might not. Um, it might not be long for this world. To be fair, once once Rebecca starts doubling consistently, which hopefully will happen eventually, um, I think she she will end up being a solid unit. But okay, I like I like sort of have to sneak. <laughs> All right, it finally came out. I thought my Iron Man was crazy. Jafar talked to Nurgle, and he silenced Nurgle? Ooh. Silence Nurgle is hot. Yeah, I've never done that, yeah. Double crit the dragon with the Armads. Jesus Christ. That's nuts. Yeah, that's super cool. 
Yeah, Bertree's definitely gonna get doubled here, but that's okay. Yeah, that's really cool. Silencing Nurgle is really awesome. I, I have definitely never done that before. What turn is it? Is there a chance we can still get that village? Uh, I mean, it's not the worst. I can use Hector and then Oswin here and then Marcus go get that village. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. And we can get in these forts too. Okay, let's try it. Okay. And then, yeah, so Hector, do you have a Vulnery? I can, can you pick up her? Yeah, perfect, okay. So let me heal. Should maybe just have him back up. How scary are these guys? Not really scary, no, we should be good. Let's heal. I want to use double fire support, which is strength defense. Ooh, that sounds pretty good. I'm still not really sure if I'm going to be using Lowen, though, to be honest. Although I do kind of want to use Rebecca, but... Because with the with the fact that, like, we have a good... Well, I guess Kent's already promoted, so that doesn't really matter. But we have Kent and Sane. I don't know. I'm not really sure yet. But that does sound really good. Uh, Oswin should be good. He can do whatever he wants. I just assume that Oswin can, like, basically never die. Until you get to that one chapter where... Uh, you're on the boat, and there's all the, um... What do you call it? You have more strength than Guy? No. Wait, why do you deal... Oh, because you're in support range, whereas Guy isn't in support range. Ah, support, that's right. I forgot about the support. Okay, that should be fine then. Um, until you get to the, the boat chapter with all the shamans, where you can potentially die to, like, magic, I just zoom out when can't die. Their brigands are brigands to so always go for the attack of the village. If they're in, if they're in, uh, in an enemy range, I always kind of assume that all of the, like, most brigands and most Fire Emblem games are, like, programmed to prioritize, um, unit killing over villages, but I could be wrong about that. I think in some games they're not. But most of the time, if you can shove somebody in, like, enemy range, they, they do that instead. Which, yeah, is actually one of the only reasons that you can potentially get that village, because they'll get to it pretty fast. Like I said, I believe, if I remember correctly, the village has money, which isn't... You can definitely forego it. Like, if you're in a bad spot on this chapter, you don't have to get the village. And basically, the only person that can do it is Marcus, but um, money is useful, so... Okay, good double. Sealax guy's a little scary because it's actually a lot of damage, so good double though. It's the same AI, but only if the enemy is below 30% HP. Oh, I did not know that. That's interesting. I remember the only time I remember that in Sacred Stones is on the chapter where you recruit um on, I think it's the first Erica chapter where you recruit Tana. There's like a there's a brigand or there's somebody that comes and destroys the village on like the far left and I believe he it's really hard for me to get that village usually because you because he just like goes straight forward even if you're in range that's the only one in particular that I actually like remember but okay Oswin you know I said he was invincible but <laughs> nobody's actually invincible so let's be a little bit careful with him they're just seeing the 30 percent HP or lower All right, let me back you up a little bit and heal you up. This is still a defend chapter. We don't have to do anything too aggressive. And then, yeah, let, let's just take this guy out. I double, which is great. Hopefully I hit one of them. Okay, perfect. Perfect. And then, yeah, let's just go here. I mean, I don't think he's in any danger. And then Ellie would back up. A little bit, I guess, but you should be good. Guy, I guess you can go back. Maybe you'll maybe you'll be useful. Although actually Matthew's sitting in the middle. So I usually use Matthew on the bottom right side for mostly the reason that you just saw, because he can he can do really well against the brigands that are down there, especially if you sit in the forest tiles. Um But Thieves also um uh, what do you call it? 
Uh, ooh, I just lost my train of thought completely. Oh, thieves also give really good vision, so having it in the middle is also pretty advantageous. Would've forgotten to rescue Sarah. I have I have definitely done that before. My my biggest thing, the, the, the way that I seem to always lose units in the dumbest way is I always forget that they're injured and then I do stupid things with them. That's why we kept losing units on our uh, Fire Emblem 6 run doing that. I'm usually pretty good about rescue dropping. But yeah. Fire Emblem is like, Fire Emblem is one of those games that when you put it in... When you put it in like terms of always playing properly, I mean, I guess this, the same goes for most games, but it's actually pretty easy, but it's it's just so hard to like keep up focus and never make like little mistakes like that over the course of a Fire Emblem playthrough. <laughs> Ray clerics don't have Kanto. <laughs> God, if only, if only. Man, I was playing this Fire Emblem hack the other day um, and they they gave they gave me a dancer and the dancer had Kanto. That was wild. I was like, holy shit! As if dancers weren't all, already just like the best class in all of Fire Emblem. This one has Kanto. Pretty bust though. play Fire Emblem right. Well, it's not its not like a correct or incorrect way. I just mean like, as far as losing or not losing characters, because you never intentionally lose characters, right? Like the wrong way to play Fire Emblem is to lose characters, unless that's your intention, I guess. Uh, which seems a little weird to me, but... But no, there, there's no right or wrong way as far as like who you train or how you handle... Um, yeah, I did forget the didn't I? I did forget the village. You know, it's funny. I was just talking about playing correctly, and then I just didn't get the village. Yeah, you're right. I'm a fucking idiot. Oh, I'm stupid. Oh well. Yeah, I was really surprised by the Kanto dance. That's for sure. Oh, that's true. Racing does have Kanto. I didn't think about that. I suppose there is a uh, a um, a Kanto dancer in Fire Emblem. That's very true. The wrong way to play Fire Emblem was to get a game over. That is true. That is true. Well, hypothetically, like, like it's not it's not correct to well, whatever. I mean, who cares? I just mean like for for the purposes of what I said, I'm just saying like Fire Emblem isn't difficult. It's just it's just hard to like stay focused and always make like the correct decisions, like rescue dropping and stuff like that. Oof, blast! I won't forget this. You thieves can just invade our island and walk away. I told you, we're not thieves. <laughs> Are you all right? Hmm. Oh, I've been saved. We've driven them off. Are you injured? No, not at all. Uh, as you can see, I'm as fine as a uh, fine can be. I'm glad to hear it. Good day, sir. Did I just skip that? I don't know. Hector, wait a moment, please. A token uh, of my thanks. Do not worry yourself. We did nothing to merit reward. That's right. We've no need of a peddler's junk. <laughs> a peddler. Hector. Oops. Um, I am Merlinus. You'll find no other traveling uh, merchant whose goods compare. Don't let your eyes fool you. I'm quite prosperous. Huh, you're a merchant. Books and knives and all that, eh? <laughs> Hector, your manners are terrible. Merlinus, please. Pay no mind to what this oaf has to say. No, of course not. I wasn't concerned at all. Um, by the way, you two obviously came from highborn houses. Would you grant me the honor of your names? I am Elowen, son of the Marquess of Foray. I'm Hector. Marquess Ostia's brother. Goodness, Ostia Foray. The greatest houses in all of Lycia. Uh, to be saved by noblemen such as yourselves. It is an honor beyond words. It's nice to be appreciated for a change. Lately, uh, people just wanted to see us dead. <laughs> Tell me, Merlinus, what are your plans? Pardon my plans, my lord. I had planned to travel Lycia selling my merchandise, but it may not be possible in such dangerous times. If that's the case, why don't you come along with us? Hector, our travels uh, will not be ending anytime soon. We've gained more people and more items, right? It might be good to have help managing those things. Oh, now that is a splendid idea. Managing merchandise is my specialty after all. Are you sure? Quite sure, my lord. To be honest, I've dreamt of working for a noble house. To, to have my fondest wish granted in such a way. I cannot stem these tears of joy. Lord Hector, Lord Elliewood, 
Take them, take me into your bosoms and keep me safe forever. Uh, thank you. Well met, Merlinus. We're counting on you. Now, I've got some things I want you to carry. Yes, of course. Whatever you have. Merlinus will keep. Thank you, Merlinus. Merlinus is the best. I love Merlinus. At least you didn't lose units. Yeah, we didn't lose anybody. That was really stupid, though. I, I spent all that time talking about that village and how we were going to get that village, and then I just didn't get the village. Because I'm, I'm an absolute genius. Sir Pano letting Walt die to open up a support slot. That is true. But there was a reason for that, to be fair. There was a reason for that. But yes, that... <laughs> That is true though. I completely Melkin, I I completely agree with you. Obviously, obviously you should play. My only point is like, I'm talking about it specifically in the in the idea of like, I don't think Fire Emblem is very difficult. I think it is difficult, but only because it's very difficult to like keep focused for the entirety of a playthrough, you know what I mean? But no, the correct way to play Fire Emblem is however you enjoy playing Fire Emblem. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hector has no tact? No, quite the opposite, in fact. Um, okay, I think we just saved, right? So, I think I'm gonna end the stream here today. Um, still no deaths, which is great. Although, I guess I could put the, uh... I, I guess I could put the, um, the money that we just- <laughs> that just died on the death counter, but... The reason was Walt is terrible. Walt is- Walt is pretty ass. And he was also cock-blocking Roy, and we can't have that, so... Um, so yeah, good, uh... Good stream. I appreciate the raid and I appreciate the the follows. That was really uh really cool to see. Plus one tent. <laughs> um, okay, so I will be back tomorrow. Uh, what is tomorrow? Thursday? Yeah, probably tomorrow. Um, and we will keep going with Fire Emblem Seven. Should be a good time. Walt's better than Leonardo. Yeah, I'd agree with that. I'd agree with that. I think Walt can be okay. Walt is at least recruited early. I think Walt can be a fine unit. Our Walt was cock blocking and terrible, but uh, but Walt can be okay. Um, so yeah, everybody enjoy your nights as always, and I will see you next time. <laughs>